Welcome to another version of the Camel Matrix video cast. Today we'll be continuing on with the UV light and UV brightener discussion. And in this episode, I'll show you how to apply a UV killer spray and then test how well it does in eliminating UV brighteners. For this video, I'm using the Atsco UV killer spray. First, I needed some examples to show you what happens to hunting garments when it's washed with a UV brightener detergent. The detergent I used to introduce UV brightener to the hunting camo in this test indicated it had powerful whitening agents. And these agents would be the UV brighteners that hunters should stay away from. To show you what we're starting with, I sacrificed some of my hunting closet. I took some 100% polyester Under Armour pants, and I took some Sitka 85% Merino, 15% spandex base layer. And I used the pants because I didn't want to use the shirt for this. Uh, and I washed them in that brightener fabric uh, detergent. And so here I'll show you a, a video of them before under the UV light. And you notice that there's no bluish glow indicating the presence of UV brighteners. Now after the wash, notice that the, the Under Armour pants haven't changed, but look how the fabric on the Sitka pants glow. Now, I attribute this absorption abilities to the fabric, and the polyester pants are basically made from a petroleum-based product, and that, in a sense, is plastic fiber. And we know that petroleum and water don't mix very well, so a polyester fabric is going to kind of repel that, that water, resist that water and the detergents that are in the water, and therefore not absorb those UV brighteners as well. So the, you know, you know are, are the Sitka pants ruined? You know, are these ruined? And did the UV killer, you know, does the UV killer spray work? You know, so we'll see what that does a little bit later on. So in addition to those two garments, I also took some old school uh, cotton poly t-shirt blends and I cut them into three pieces. And I've got them sitting here and you can kind of look at them and you know, look, under, look at them under regular light. They've each been washed in a UV brightener. They've, and two of these have been treated with a UV killer, that, this UV killer spray. And you notice there's no color difference between them. So you can kind of look one, two, three here. There's no difference between them um, to our eyes. But you know we'll show them under light here in a minute. Um, so I've also, you know, I numbered them. So one is a control, one is one that had a single application and another one has two applications on it so we could see how well they do. So, you know, let's go over how to apply the spray first. And the, the easiest way is to lay the fabric that you're treating flat on a surface where the overspray of the UV killer won't get onto anything else that you don't want it on. You know, and shake the bottle pretty good and then heavily spray the surface of the fabric so, you know, it covers everything and then take a wide paintbrush, kind of like I've done here, and spread it evenly over the surface. And you know, use a UV light while you're doing it to see where you need more spray and where you may need to spread it around. And so you can see how that UV glow disappears. So once you've done that, you know, let that exposed side dry completely before you turn it over. Uh, you can hang it, but you do have a little bit of overspray that kind of gets everywhere. I find that setting it down has been the easiest for me. And so, you know, that sounds pretty easy. And from the looks of what this, you know, this video is, is showing us, it, you know, it looks to be pretty effective. So is it time to hit the tree stand? Not so fast. So I came back, and after the initial treatment dried and sat for a while, this is what I found. The glow's back. So why did this happen? You know, so... You know, I, I was like, okay, did I, did I do something wrong? And, you know, let's apply another one. So I applied another one. And, you know, to the polyester pants on the same spot, I, I sprayed it, brushed it, I waited for it to dry. And, you know, initially when it's wet, the glow is gone. But once again, when it's dry, there the glow was again. You know, indicating that those UV brighteners are just too embedded into the fabric to really cover up. And as for my three separate pieces of fabric, well, you be the judge, you know, here, here they are, no treatment on the left, one treatment in the middle, and two treatments on the right. And I'll say that there's a subtle difference, but not much to me. That blue glow is just still there. So here they are after another treatment, you know, but I added 
you know, another fabric across the top, and that's a moss yoke hoodie that I have, just for reference. So notice that they all look the same in white light. Now with the UV light, look at the blue hue on the ones washing the UV uh, brightener detergent. You know, this, this time, you know, the, the left still has no treatment, the center has two treatments, and the third has three treatments. So, you know, after all that, I have a conclusion. Basically, don't buy hunting camo with UV brighteners in it. And don't wash your hunting clothes with detergents with UV brighteners. And if you do, you know, they, they may be lost. You, it may be a lost cause to try to fight it. You know, I thought the initial application was going to get some good results, but from what you saw, I just can't say that I'm impressed. And I'd also like to add that, you know, the spray adds this starchy feel, almost like when you're trying to spray starch a shirt, and it's just really stiff, and it just doesn't feel like the original fabric does. And so my advice is to, to buy a UV light, check the camo out before you buy it, and especially those bargain ones, wash them as little as possible, don't wear them to dinner, don't wear them out to impress your friends, and when you do need to wash them, use a non-UV detergent so you don't have to find some magic potion to try to cover up the mistake of use, using a UV brightened detergent. Thanks for watching.